everyone and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing the winter chakra reads okay and I'm going to be doing it a little bit different uh, this month I'm going to be reading for the lovely Gemini's in a moment and how this works guys is um, we look at the uh, area within your chakra system and obviously if you're not aware of the chakra then I will drop a link in the description box and you can have a read on the different areas where it covers in the body and what it controls. So I'll be looking at December, January and February, some of the influences that you need to be concentrating on and the reasons why over the next three months. The cards I'm going to be using for this um, is going to be the Self Care Cards by Cheryl Richardson and the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed So without further ado, I'm just going to dip straight into these small lovely gems. And first of all, we're going to um, have a dip in to see what chakra area of your body that you need to be looking at um, for the next three months in the winter season. And the reasons why that is going to be with the cards that we pull out for you. So let's have a look what we've got here. And we have the heart. Um, which symbolises the love area, the, obviously the heart, matters of the heart. So I'm just going to place that there for a second, okay? So then, we will start shuffling with these cards and we'll get a card for December, January and February. So if I can have a card please for the lovely Geminis of what they need to be looking at for the month of December, January and February. For my lovely gems, I'm going to have that one. So in December, we have the trust card here. And the message on the back says, trust your decisions, march to the beat of your own heart. <laughs> you can't make these readings up, can you? We've picked out the heart chakra for your gems. And we have now got this card of trust. And it's saying, march to the beat of your own heart. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there for a second. And I just want to get this reading laid out so we can then uh, go into it in a bit of depth for you. So if I can have a card for January, please, for my lovely Geminis. Card for January. Okay, and I'm having this one here. So January, it's about, uh, it's got call a friend. When you're mirrored with love, you see yourself clearly, okay? So it's uh, symbolising friendships in January. But like I say, I'll recap this in a little in a little while. I just want to get the cards out, guys. See what we're dealing with. So then I want one for February, please, for my lovely gems. If I can have a card for February for Gemini. Oh, and that one wants to come out. And we have the card of self-respect. Okay, going into February. Respect yourself. You're the best judge of what's right. Okay, so we've got these three cards out. That's for February, January and December. And then I'm just going to get the Colette Baron Reed cards just to open this up a little bit more. And that did want to come out, so I'm going to have that one for December. I love how these cards work, guys. They're alive, they're alive. And that one, look, see, they're alive. That one wants to come out. I can have one more, please, for my lovely gems. And that, I'm going to have that top one. Okay, Gemini. Let's have a look what's going on with you then over the next three months. So December, okay, mending march to the beat of your own heart and we've got the mending card so here i feel in december it's about reflection guys in gem uh, sorry gemini in the month of december you've got to start to trust your own gut feelings okay i feel that over 2019 you have made some bad decisions okay you've made some bad decisions because you've listened to other people You've sort of listened to other people's opinions where they've swayed you into things that you then thought to yourself, I didn't really want to do this. Didn't really want to do this, okay? So the message for you for December is saying here, you need to mend the connection with your own gut feeling. You have to start listening to that inner voice. You have to start listening to your own gut feeling and start to make decisions for you, okay? So this is the whole message that I'm getting um, 
for December with the chakra reading, obviously concentrating on matters of the heart, okay? And it's just saying here, you just need to uh, reflect really and start to listen to that inner voice of yours, Gems. Because as I said, I just feel that over 2019, um, there's areas of your life that you're not happy with, even reflecting now as we're looking back over the year, as we sit there in December and we look back of all what's gone on and what we've done and relationships we've been in and relationships that we've finished, okay? It's about, excuse me, it's about mending, um, mending the, um, I'm not gonna say bridges, it's like mending your inner um, thought system your own inner system that gives you the right signals that you have ignored. I do feel that some of my Geminis have literally ignored their sixth sense, okay? Your sixth sense feeling where you've made wrong judgments because you haven't listened to your inner voice, Gems, okay? So going into January, we've got here, happy, happy. Wow, wow, Gems, that's a nice card. So here, I do feel that in January, okay, matters of the heart with friendships, uh, it's about having some more enjoyment coming into your life because I feel you know in December, okay, with the issues that have gone on and the self uh, the self-realisation of how things have worked out in 2019, where you haven't listened to your inner self, you haven't done things to please you, and you may have done things to please others, and knowing to the fact that, you know, it's gone against, gonna, it's gone against the grain with you on certain things as well. But going into 2020, um, I do feel there's, uh, there's this new this new you, that's what I want to say, this new you being reborn, that's what I want to say, about being reborn, and it's connecting with like-minded people as well, this is why the friendship cards come out in January, I just feel you need to start in 2020 surrounding yourself with people who are on your same wavelength, because so I do feel there is people around you, family-wise, who don't get your gems. They do not get where you're coming from. And it's saying in order for your own happiness, okay, you need to start building friendships and relationships to people who, who are on the same level and singing off the same hymn sheet as you, okay, for the month of January. So for February then, we've got self-respect with the, you're the best judge of what's right, okay. And we had the Unfinished Symphony here. Now, this Unfinished Symphony is about you wrapping this up from 2019. An Unfinished Symphony, okay, you, there are certain things that you need to um, finish off, tie loose ends off. Um, it may be that there's areas of your life coming into the new year. As I say, if you're in a job that you're not happy with, you need to, you know, there's elements of your life from the 2019 element of it, where it has to be tied up and literally finished with. So it's saying with the self-respect here, you could still be holding on to some of these things that sort of held you down in 2019. And it could be you'll find yourself between a rock and a hard place where it could be relationships, this could, for some of my gems here. You may know that you're not happy in a relationship. You feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place in this relationship. But it's saying here, you've got to be honest with yourself, gems. You've got to be honest with yourself in February, okay? It's no use being in a relationship if you're unhappy, okay? And that's why it's saying you're the best judge of what's right here. So I just feel for some of my Geminis in February then, there could be some um, romant romantic issues going on around some of my Geminis where they will feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. It could also be within your job situation where you're not happy in a work ethic, okay? And you think to yourself, you know, I've got plans here. Because if we look at this card, this is a, symbolizes an egg and there's things within that egg uh, 
ambitions, dreams of yours that you're waiting to hatch. So I think when we come to do the chakra reading March, April and May for the spring season, I do feel that I'll be reading and picking up some uh, new adventures and new things for you, uh, Gemini, because you are literally planning. You are literally planning and I do feel you moving away from whatever's gone on in 2019. Uh, you will be a, a more stronger person to listen to that inner feeling, that inner gut feeling. And literally, you need to get some happiness back into your life, Gems. 2019, you have, you, you really have gone through the mill from all aspects of your life in 2019. And you know, as you go into 2020, there could be some friendships that you've had to um, break ties with. There's people that no longer serve you. So to get the happiness, okay, the happiness in January, you know, there is going to be some unfinished business here and it could still be filtering in to February, as I say, with the unfinished symphony. But just know, my lovelies, you are sitting on a collective of ideas. Um, you will be quite excited as well in February because I feel like there'll be some new opportunities definitely presenting themselves in going into the end of February, looking into the start of March. So my lovely Geminis, I hope you can take something away from this um, winter chakra read. As I say, it covers the three months, so you can dip in and out of this to refresh you of uh, the areas, what you need to be looking at as we go through um, December, January and February. So my lovely gems, I'll look forward to reading to you next time. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye. Mm -hmm.